So here's our tomato plant and you can see how many flowers this one's got. This one doesn't have as many, don't worry about it, it'll soon catch up. But this one does, so it's a good example to show you. Now, can you see the flowers? These flowers are self-pollinating flowers and you need breeze or a buzzing insect to vibrate. Can you see the plants vibrating? That vibration drops the pollen down and fertilizes the flower so that you'll then get a fruit forming here as a result. Now there's a few things that can go wrong. Number one, if you don't have adequate ventilation, not only can the insects not get in to buzz around and shake the flowers, but the breeze can't get in either. So your two methods of self-pollination could be missing. The third issue is if you don't have enough ventilation and you can definitely put your plants out for the day today on the um, wall, like I have just done. They're absolutely fine. It's lovely and mild. That heat mat in the greenhouse isn't on. If you don't have enough ventilation, then what can happen is the atmosphere can get wet. It get wet and humid, and that makes the pollen sticky, which means even if you have plenty of wind and insects buzzing around, the pollen turns to glue and it can't drop. Does that make sense? And you'll end up with, when the flowers fall away, little branches with no tomatoes attached afterwards. And that's all it is. So make sure that you open up your greenhouses today. Open them up fully. It's so mild. Might be a bit overcast. It's so mild. But keep your tomatoes out of the rain if you can. Because number one, it'll make the pollen all wet. And number two, blight spores tend to live in the atmosphere. And they can be brought down by the rain. So a quick easy way of making sure that your tomato plants are happy and healthy is just keep them this side of the greenhouse door so they're sheltered from the rain but they've got plenty of access to the breeze and the insects. If you'd like all that information written down if you turn to tomatoes in your spring grow along handbook kitchen garden section you can find all the information there.